football here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Taiwan Walker will be on the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Now to the plate, Marcel, franchise. And he's a strong candidate for Rookie of the Year honors. If he can avoid a collapse here in the final months, it's been a great first campaign in the big leagues for him so far. Well, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight on, games. Baby, hey, this is there. a big one here, Matty. You know what, d -Row? They're about to head on a oh, nine-game roadie. One thing they'd like to do, get on that plane feeling good about themselves and salvage the last game of this series. Yeah, Dan, they need to find a way to win this one today. Get... And a reach, but it's by him as he go. couldn't go on, quite go, go, get go, go, to that go. ball. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there and the manager wondering how long he's going to go on this one. Stepping into the box, David Dahl. And the Rockies trying to hang even more damage on the scoreboard in the opening frame. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Trevor. Pulled high in the air out to left field. You're going, you're going, you're going. Rojas makes the catch. The inning is over. Rockies forced to settle for one. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Rockies lead this one one to nothing. Now batting Josh Harrison lifetime batting against this pitcher. He carries a 421 batting average. He's also gone down on strikes five times. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Throw to first in time, and the bunt attempt is foiled. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. Ready for another chance? Marcel, franchise. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Good job there to jump ahead with the fastball. If he's going to get back on track out there, the fastball is what he's going to start to need locating first and foremost. Then he can work his other pitches off of that. Right one ball, one strike, the count. The 1-1 one, one misses off the plate. Hey, nice leave, nice hey leave. after the Keep double at his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Ball, that's three out. and one. Hey, let's go, big fella. David Dahl would be next. Three ball. And it's up to a three-two full count now. Three-two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he fouls this one off. Three runs on, already home here. One time. Here you go. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Garcia on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Rockies four and the D-backs one. 
Into the box, Marcel, franchise. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. Now here's the pitch. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Fouled off. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Kelly goes to get it. Throw down to first, one away. Into the box now. Marcel, now franchise. Back. He'll look to bounce back after first striking ball. out his last time Thank up. God. And he'll smartly just ensure that this hey, stays a foul ball. The pitch. Oh. Hey, your pitch. Drive it deep, huh? Here you go. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. So striding forward now, David Dahl. He's working on a one for three thus far. Franchise, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Runners on the move for second. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball the right by him. Seven. No better feeling Second in the eight. world when you're a pitcher Brendan. than throwing a fastball Rock right ball. by a guy. Now both runners on the no, move. Get out, get out, Pitch get out. inside the throw. Throw won't get him. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. On to first, and the Rockies fail to cash in as that ends the inning. Two left for Colorado, but they hold a 9 to 2 lead. Next, it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies, Marcel Franchise. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fastball well outside. Two out, nobody on. Let's go, kid. One time right here. Count even now at one and one. Now the pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Oh. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And Gregorius will make the catch, and that ends the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Rockies 12 and the Diamondbacks 2. At the plate, Marcel, franchise. The catcher, Marcel, franchise. Hey, let her fly, kid. Let Here comes fly. the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging no strike, strike here. Nothing in one. 
With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. Hey, what are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Oh, and that was a big mistake right there. This guy might be their best base stealing threat in the lineup, so now he's got a chance to move into scoring position without even putting the ball into play. Now in the box, David Dahl. Two hits in four attempts to this point. He's running. Broken bat as this ball is hit on the ground. Bends down and he barehands it. Not in time. Almost a remarkable play, but they'll have runners at the corners with nobody out now. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging bunt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, d -Row? Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at-bats, and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his now third knock of the game, the that's awesome. Trevor Story. This is on the ground over to first. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Boy, I tell you, those are always... Well, that wasn't exactly a nail-biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 19 to 2, the final tally today. The Colorado Rockies took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Antonio Senzatella earns his 12th victory in the ballgame. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.